Hi, I'm Steve Bliss with Contextual Solutions. We're here today in the Republic of Panama and we're going to show you how to build a smokeless stove, one we call the tower stove. There are many smokeless stoves in the world today, but what makes ours unique is it's a contextually appropriate solution. What that means is you can build this stove using readily available materials anywhere in the world, which virtually costs nothing. Now our context is people cook on three rock fires and what three rock fires are is basically what it says. You have three rocks on the ground, they put firewood in around those rocks, they put a pan on top and they light the fire and, it, and then it burns. And it produces a lot of smoke because it burns inefficiently. And because we're in a rainforest belt, many people cook indoors. So the smoke that comes from these inefficient fires actually leads to many chronic lung disease, um, which attributes to 1.9 million deaths per year, and it leads to deforestation because of the in inefficiency of the fire. Is our stove the most efficient? No. But, but it empowers people to create their own solutions to their problems, not just now, but on into the future. And after watching this video and checking out our resources online, you'll not only be able to make this stove, but you'll be able to train others to do so also. And now with the help of Annie and Ina, two Peace Corps volunteers, let's learn. Hi, I'm Annie. And I'm Ina. And as Steve mentioned, one of the things that makes our stove so great is that all of the materials can be found locally. Right here we have fresh horse manure, straw, ash, molasses, and clay. The most important part is to find a good clay. There are many ways to test your clay. For ideas, you can find them online on our resource page. And now we're going to start our mix. Here we have five parts clay that we're going to mix into a paste. Here we have one part ash water, one part sugar water, which we're going to mix into the clay and make it a paste. You know what I'd like to do is add some more clay because I'm worried we're going to be short. I don't want to be short. So, um, beautiful. Now we're going to add in our five parts organic matter. With the help of Ina. And don't be afraid to get dirty. Yeah. 
Now we're going to add in our last ingredient, one part straw. Now that the mixture is ready, let's talk about the molds. These molds are made out of wood and can be used many times over. To find out how to make them, visit our resource page. Now we're going to pack the molds. Make sure that you press the mixture in tight into the corners. Press it down using your knuckles. When you've got it packed tight, level it off with your hand. One of these bricks will be used as the header. It will fit over the mouth of the stove. If you have a piece of scrap metal or rebar, you can fit it into the mold to act as a reinforcement. Once you have all your molds packed, you want to leave them to dry for seven days in a covered area. On the third day, it's best to remove them from the mold so they dry evenly. Don't break them. At the end of seven days, the outcome will be a total of 18 bricks in five different shapes. And now we're ready to build the stove. These stoves are made in four levels. Here are the bricks laid out in the four levels. First, second, third, fourth. The mortar, or the glue that holds the bricks together, is made from the same mix as the bricks, but without the straw. When choosing a location to build your stove, it is important that the foundation is leveled. Based on that surface, you may choose to use mortar underneath. Your mortar joint should be a little over one centimeter thick. Just pack it in. We've applied mortar to the first level. Now we're going to start stacking the bricks. Make sure that you maintain it level. On the third level is when you use the brick with the rebar, your header brick, and it goes here. The top level is made of two different size bricks. The tall corner bricks is where the pot sits. The center smaller bricks allows for exhaust. So now you know how to build a smokeless tower stove. So get out there and share your knowledge so you can better the lives of others and stop deforestation.